Hey, how is going everyone? Today I managed to install uh, Lubuntu on a MacBook 2.1. It's actually a very old uh, MacBook. It's like 10 years old, something like that. It's from, I think, 2006 or 2007. And actually I had many problems by booting uh, Ubuntu from a USB. Actually, I also tried some other distributions. Anyway, I had like a um, legacy firmware error and I wasn't able to to boot from a USB and also I have no burner CD or DVD burner at home so I actually wasn't able to burn to a DVD uh, an ISO a Linux ISO and to try it so what I did actually I changed the the art disk this is the original art disk and is it actually a where is it 60 gigs i mean 60 gigabyte so this is this tell you how old this computer is 60 gig i mean not extremely old but 10 years something like that minimum all right actually i show you how to change the hard disk you just have to remove the battery okay the battery is dead so i will use this as a Mm, the fixed computer or desktop computer, you know, so attached to the current. And actually, you have to remove the battery and then you have to remove this metallic part. Okay, there are just three screws here. Once you remove it, you are able to uh, to switch or to um, yeah to change the RAM here, two RAMs, and here there is the hard disk. You can just take it out quite easily okay and then change it so after that as I wasn't able as I say to to boot from a USB I actually use my computer here and I just attached the hard disk with a SATA and uh, electrical cable and uh, I installed Ubuntu server in it and then I just tried and it was working so after I did that I used a very very um, oop, let me try to a very useful software which is you can find on uh, on Ubuntu server also every Ubuntu distribution you know Kubuntu Ubuntu whatever let me log in here okay perfect let me clear so here is like a ubuntu server and once you install ubuntu server in my opinion there is a this very useful software which is called task cell you want to run it with sudo if you want to actually install all the stuff you may have seen this in the ubuntu server installation where it uh, it asks you if you want to install, for example, a mail server or Samba file server or uh, open SSH server. And that's it. But actually, if you use after the installation, you have many other options such as, as you can see, Kubuntu, Ubuntu GNOME, Live CD or uh, the actual desktop, Kubuntu desktop, Kubuntu full, Edubuntu. Myth Ubuntu and uh, Ubuntu Mate, you know, just every flavor and everything uh, available, all the packages. So it's great. So if you have uh, no idea what to install, you can just install uh, Ubuntu server and then select one of these. Or actually, you can run a task cell also in your uh, Kubuntu, Ubuntu, Ubuntu GNOME or whatever and install some other uh, distro complete distro you know so you have the base which is ubuntu and then you have a flavor such as kde mate mate gnome etc so that's how i did it and let me return oh this i need two hands and that's it so this is going to be uh you know a quite uh, good laptop 
let's say that I gave this lab a new life by installing Lubuntu before it was just like super crazily slow and useless but right now with a lightweight Linux distribution it's just a return to uh, to life there it is okay I'll see you next time guys bye bye